side, don't be shy, cause Jolene can't wait to meet ya. She's the queen of the park, she's got gossip news and lots of food to feed ya. Jolene Sugar Baker. Trailer Park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Taste Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, this is the 25 Days of Trailer Park Christmas, and if you've been following along on your calendar, which you've gotten on my website, TrailerParkChristmas.com, you'll see that today is Cheesecake Bites. And they're great for your buffet table, especially because it's cheesecake and it's portable. And that's just a great thing, especially at a, a party. You can just down the cheesecake without anybody looking. Just nice and small, but it's really great. And it uses the little vanilla cookies. And we're going to be using those today and some nice cherry topping to make nice little portable cheesecakes that you can have at your next party. I'm going to show you up next on the Trailer Park Cooking Show. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making my cheesecake bites is really simple. And I'm going to use my stand mixer today, but you can hand mix it if you wanted to. But it's going to take a while. But I've got two blocks of cream cheese, the 8 ounce cream cheese. And we're going to put that in the bowl along with a half cup of white sugar. So let's get that going right on into the bowl. So we have our half cup of sugar in there and the two blocks of cream cheese. Now we're going to add two eggs right on in there. So let's go ahead and put that in there. Now we're going to mix this around till it's nice and creamy. But first we're going to add about a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And I don't even measure it because I like vanilla. So we're just going to put that on in there just like that. And now spin it around until it's creamy and get that going. Next up, take a muffin pan and put the foil liners in it. Now you're going to take the vanilla cookies, just one cookie a piece, and put it down in each of the liners, just like that. So go ahead and get that done. There we go. We've got a cookie in the bottom of each one of the liners in the baking pan. And this is our mixture that we've got nice and fluffy. Look at that. You can add some food coloring if you wanted to and make them pretty. But what we're going to do is we're going to uh, fill each one of the muffin cups up over the cookie about three-fourths uh, full. So let's go ahead and do that and get that ready. There you go. We've got our mixture in the cups over the cookies and we filled them about three-fourths full. And now we're going to pop them in the oven at 325 degrees for about 30 minutes. But we're going to do something else to them to make them even more fancier. So I'll be right back. Set your timer. After 30 minutes in the oven, you're going to take a mixture that you've made out of a half cup of sour cream, two tablespoons of white sugar, go right on in there, and a dash of vanilla right on in there. We're going to give that a mix around. Now you're going to put a tablespoon of this mixture up on top of your cheesecake bites and bake them for about 8 to 10 minutes more until it's set. And there we go. You have my cheesecake bites. So simple to make for your next party. And you can put fruit up on top or maybe some of that canned pie filling right up on top or maybe some chocolate curls would look real nice. But they're almost like a souffle. Nice, light, and airy. And they have that nice sour cream sugar mixture up on top. And I can't wait to try this one. Mmm. Taste that cheesecake flavor. And you could really down one of these in the corner at a party because... You know, it's so hard to eat things like a big piece of cheesecake in front of people because people look at you funny. But these are real simple to eat. And they would taste great with the cherries up on top or maybe some sort of mint 
Oh, these are so great. I hope you get a chance to make my cheesecake bites. And if you do, send me pictures at JoleneSugarBaker at gmail.com. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. I'm Jolene's trailer there. And all the recipes and the calendar to follow along with all the recipes until the 25th are at TrailerParkChristmas.com. So don't forget to subscribe too because there's a video every day until the 25th. I love y'all. I hope y'all have a Merry Trailer Park Christmas and I'll be back real soon. Bye-bye. Slap on all your blue eyes shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with pride Bye, in the double wide. Tony and Sugarbaker, she's the trailer park queen. In the double wide. Tony and Sugarbaker, she's the trailer park queen. In the double wide. Tony and Sugarbaker, she's the trailer park queen. Visit my store at JoleneSugarbaker.com.